I got it there when I did. At least we had the intelligence. Indeed. I finished my masters in physics. Which is what's led me here today, I suppose. But even then... It was on our way to the ceremony. A couple of years after this, I developed the theory. Elaborate for us? The idea is called quantum suicide. Using all this apparatus, a man will take a gun and place it to his head, and connect it to the quantum particle machine, like so. This machine can measure the spin of the quantum particles. And in this case, the bulb. When the trigger is pulled, it will either fire or not fire, depending on which way the bullet spin is measured. A 50-50 chance. For example, if this bullet is measured going clockwise, then the gun will fire. But if it is measured going anti-clockwise, then the gun will not fire. This experiment can be repeated numerous times, but if the bullet is measured going anti-clockwise, then the gun will not fire, making them immortal, right? Because he survives the shock continually. But say you were to see me execute this experiment, you would witness me kill myself. Now this is where the second theory comes into it. How this works is, the universe splits in two, creating two paths. One where he commits suicide, which is what you see, and another where he survives. Basically, the man enters a new version of his life in an alternate universe. So it's like ending your life, start another. Exactly. Bang, 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 bang. Alright, enough kiss. Love your stories. Bang. 